This is the fourth video in my SketchUp tutorial series. I stuck a link up here to a playlist with the three previous episodes where I cover all the basics that you will need to model your van design in SketchUp. This episode is all about SketchUp's 3D warehouse. So what is the 3D warehouse? Well, it's a free library of models that other people have created that you can import into your model. It's a great way to save time with your design. Why repeat work that somebody else has already done? So what sort of thing can you find in the 3D warehouse? Well, there's everything from sofas to bicycles, kitchen sinks to models of people. Crucially for us van lifers, there are some absolute SketchUp wizards out there that have modeled up full vehicles within SketchUp. Let's take a look. So I'm using an offline version of SketchUp. To access the 3D warehouse in this version of SketchUp, you need to click on this icon here. It's the SketchUp logo inside a box. If you want to download this free offline version of SketchUp, then here's a link to a video where I show you exactly how to do that. If, on the other hand, you're using the web-based version, this is what that looks like. And there's a slightly different icon in this version. This icon over here on the, th on the right hand side is how you access the 3D warehouse using the web based app. Once you've clicked on the icon in either offline or online versions, the 3D warehouse looks the same. You do need an internet connection in order to access it. So then it's really as simple as just searching for whatever you want. So let's try searching for my van, which is a Fiat Picasso, Fiat Picasso L382. Now, initially it says that it's empty. This is because we're in the products tab. Just click on models. You can see that there's actually quite a few different ones for you to choose from. Let's say that we like the look of this one. Click on the download icon. Uh, selected a large model, importing this file might fill out for SketchUp. Okay. Might take a moment or two to download. Once downloaded, you then just need to place it wherever you want into your model. Just click to do that. The first thing you're going to want to do once you've imported the model is to do what's called explode the model. Basically, at the moment, SketchUp just sees this whole model as one block and you can't edit anything within it until you've exploded it. So just right click anywhere, click explode, and then, and then once you've done that, you're free to select the individual elements within this model, delete bits out like that. You can move things around. Yeah, you're basically free to do whatever you want with the model. You can strip everything out, start from scratch, or you can build off what's already in there. So what else is available in the 3D warehouse? How about a Mercedes Sprinter? Again, we should click on models. Yeah, there's sprinters in there. What about, I don't know, let's a specific product that you might want to put in your van, a genetic fridge. Well, there you go, you've got the genetic CF80 cool box. What else about gas, gas hall? There you go, you can make your kitchen design a lot more realistic. Something like that. Shower tray. Yeah, okay, so I. I think you get the point. There's a massive range of stuff that is within the 3D warehouse, ready to go, and just needs to be downloaded into your model for you to use it. Okay, that's it for this video. I hope that you found it useful. If you did, please do give it a like. If you haven't done so already, please hit the subscribe button and the bell if you wanna get notified when I next upload a video. Uh, yeah, so thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.